Skull here again with Mountain Greens. And today, um, we kind of went on a field trip, so pretty much away from all of this stuff right here. And um, we went to our friend's place. His name's Rod, and he runs an aquaponics place. And if you don't know what aquaponics is, it's pretty much um, gardening, but it's like on uh, foam or something like that that floats it above the water, and then it's hooked up to a tank. But um, he explains it all, so just enjoy the video. But, um, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you next time. So, enjoy the video. Okay, so in aquaponics, what you use is you use fish waste, which this is our fish tank. And in this setup, we're using tilapia. These are little tilapia. I'll see if I can catch one so you can look at it. Maybe. Maybe. Well, they don't want to be caught today, I don't think. Well, anyway. Well, one just jumped out. Here's, here's a couple. These are just little guys. Those are maybe a month and a half, two months old. And so you feed them, and their waste comes in through here, and it goes into this filter. And this little filter I actually built myself, but it's just called a swirl filter. And it gets caught in there, and the bacteria grows in there and breaks it down into nitrates and nitrites to feed the plants. So the water comes through underneath these clay beads and the plants use all the nutrients to start growing. And then what I've done, a lot of people do it, is I also started growing plants on float beds so the water comes out of there and goes through here and there's still enough nutrients in the water to grow more plants. And these floats, you'll see underneath here, the roots take all the nutrients out of the water. And so by the time your water comes all the way around back here, the water's cleaned out and nice and fresh for your fish again. Certain types of fish, you got to have warmer water, so I'll heat the water if I need to. But this time of year, the water's plenty warm for the kind of fish I'm using. You can use tilapia, people use hybrid stripers, people use perch, catfish. I've even heard of people using trout. Um, but anything you can feed and get the nutrients into your plants works great. And it's the best tasting food you'll ever have. So, uh, what do they grow in exactly? Like... Well, the way I've done it is I use these little pots, and this allows the water to go through. And I buy this media, which is kind of, it's almost like insulation, but I guess there's different minerals in it that are good for plants. And it has a little hole for the seed to go in. You push your seed in there, push this in, you stick it right in the hole, see? And that's all it takes. And most of the plants, five days, you'll see the seed pop out and the plants start growing. A good example would be, you can see on here, these tomatoes st were started from seed and they're a month old and they're already, you know, a couple inches tall, which in Colorado is pretty good. So, so uh, what other kind of plants do you have in here? Well, we have uh, romaine lettuce. We have numerous different types of tomatoes. We have Roma, um, grape. Um, San Marzano, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Kale, 
beef steak tomatoes. Um, celebrity tomatoes back here. We have red sail lettuce here. Um, this is oak leaf. Um, here's some more romaine coming up. It just this was planted about two weeks ago. And then bok choy back there. Um, pepper plants. Here's some dill. This is basil. And this is a, a purple basil. And then that's more romaine lettuce. Uh, more kale, and then that's uh, more of the oak leaf lettuce in the back. And we have a pea plant here. You can see how big and fat these peas are. And uh, uh, we have some cilantro that we just planted. It hasn't started coming up yet. And then Italian flat leaf parsley. And we have onions coming up towards the back. And in the very back, we have two cucumber plants that are going to grow up the lattice there. And that's about all we have. Oh, we do have some leaves here, too, which haven't started coming up, but they will soon. And then you just transplant the tomatoes into these pots? Okay. Yeah, we transplant planting into the pots because most of the tomato plants will overgrow this greenhouse because this greenhouse is fairly small and we'll move all these tomato plants outside into big pots and grow them outside and use fish water that's what I call it fish water to water the plants outside it makes them grow twice as fast so and then you made this greenhouse by yourself right or I homemade? did yeah I made it out of a trampoline <laughs> oh, that's cool. the trampoline the bars are off the netting from the trampoline and I welded some legs on the ends to make them a little taller and uh, bought some two by fours and uh, the, the plastic and just screwed it all together. It took me about a day and a half and that was it and it worked pretty good. Sounds good. So uh, is that it? Well that's the basic idea of aquaponics. Um, you know I think my own opinion it'll be the wave of the future because there's less and less water. Um, you know, it's something that we can't waste. It's very important, but in this system, I can grow hundreds of plants a month, and I use probably two to five gallons of water a day at best to grow all those plants. So, very efficient. And then you've got your own fish farm, right? Yeah, I have my own fish farm. That's why I'm doing aquaponics. Because the fish farm is really where I started and I raised fish um, primarily to stock ponds and lakes for for um, people that want to, you know, catch fish for recreation mainly. And uh, when I looked into the aquaponics part of it, I figured my business and aquaponics fits together so well, why not do it? So this was our test greenhouse to see how well it worked, and obviously you can see by what's growing, it works really good. And so in the future, we're gonna do it on large scale with a really big greenhouse and really big fish tanks and, and try to do it commercially because those plants are pesticide free. There's nothing in those, those plants that would harm anybody. They're, and I guarantee you they taste better than anything you buy in a grocery store. So we're gonna 
give it a whirl and try it. So, I think that's about it. Okay. So I hope you liked that video, um, I know that I had a really fun time, and, um, I guess I'll just see you next time, so see you later, bye.